तो डियर फ्रेंड्स मीटिंग आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम अ गैप ऑफ नियरली अबाउट द 15 डेज इन बिटवीन बट गैप वाज नीडेड फॉर मी इन फैक्ट इट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी टू टेक अ ब्रेक एंड इट वाज वेरी गुड ब्रेक फॉर मी आई हैव लर्न लॉट एंड आई हैव एंजॉयड अ लॉट ड्यूरिंग दोस डेज सो लेट अस टर्न टुवर्ड्स अगेन विद आवर सब्जेक्ट and we are on the first aphorism since long time we have not yet finished the first aphorism i think it is it's more than one and half months have been passed and still we are learning the first aphorism the concluding part of the aphorism which we are discussing in last lecture on 14th of october what we have discussed is the psychotic miasm from hanima from kentian aspe already we have learned the miasms in detail we have learned the miasms from hanemanian point of view the separation theory and thereafter we have started learning about the miasms from kentian aspect and in the previous session we have learned up to the psychotic so we have started with the sori from kentian aspect the sora the trustworthy person reacts according to the action and that's why actions and reactions are equal and opposite the person who is having a self esteem egotism very theorizing very much philosopher very much active in fact the intellectual personality is the toric personality and as compared to that the psychotic is exactly opposite the psychotic which we have learned having a inner weakness and he wants to hide that inner weakness that is typical with the psychotic personality and because of which the inner weakness we have understood many many aspects of the psychotic that fixed ideas are quite common with psychotic personality they are quite jealous they are quite suspicious they are quite vindictive they are quite malicious all those things which we have learned a lot in regarding the psychotic miasm and these psychotic they are having a mask like face without having any expressions or emotions on their face and because of which we cannot understand the psychotics they are always uh, shows or hides their emotions and shows their different look towards the people so psychotics are like that and that those psychotic personalities which we have learned in detail the good po many politicians remains under the psychotic miasm and the psychotic physical also we have discussed the formation of growths tumors the autoimmune disorders to start with are always psychotic then the um, obsessive compulsive neurosis is always to start with the psychosis all those things which we have learned in detail in last lecture and lastly we have concluded that miasm today we have to start with the third miasm from the kentian aspect so i will going to share the screen with the same one and will start with the last miasm that is the syphilitic miasm so we have to start with this new one the syphilitic a misunderstood miasm from many aspects generally what happens when we learn the syphilitic miasm it has been considered by many people that it is only a destruction which is there with the syphilitic miasm and that Mm, specific word is always used to describe the miasm yes it is one thing it is definitely there are destruction but it is not only the destruction there are both ends to this miasm and that's why i generally never consider the syphilitic miasm like this so we'll learn what what kent wants to explain about this my those miasms and the, that we'll discuss in detail so see whenever we think about the syphilitic the first word comes breaking destructive reaction but my word is always it is the extreme reaction it is not only a breaking it is not only a destruction but an extreme extreme to one end extreme for breaking extreme from joining extreme good extreme bad two in two ends two poles there is no center either you go to the right side too much or either you go to the left side too much but to the end not 
to a middle, not to a center, is very typical with the second unit. And that's why once we understand this extreme reaction, then we understand the miasm in detail. And then we'll understand the two remedies of the same miasm having two different pools. The two remedies which I'll always used to use while explaining the spilitic miasm are the aromate and mercurius or mercsol. Aram is one end of the miasm, Merx is the another end of the miasm. Aram is too industrious, Merck is not like that. Merck wants to, Merck doesn't want to do anything. Merck is anarchist. Aram, when you consider is quite religious, you get the godless feeling in Merck's soul. He never wants to believe in God. Two different ends, two different poles of the same mind. The Aram, when gets frustrated after a lot of doing a lot of good things, then he turns toward the killing himself, suicidal tendency. Merck's all, when he gets frustrated, wants to kill others, the homicidal tendency, two extremes, two different ends. And that's why when you learn the miasm, sibilitic miasm, you learn absolutely two ends of this miasm. And this is what is, one has to understand. Then you catch very easily this miasm, very easily. So my word for understanding the sibilitic miasm is extreme reaction. The things are there in sibilitic miasm that situation is beyond repair. So, what, what one can do? There must be two types of reaction, either to change or to destroy. These are the two things. Change is first thing, but which is not possible very easily for the people. But second is destruction. That is the another end. And this is what generally happens. And that's why civility is badly considered as the destructive one. When you think about the, this, there are two varieties of reactions. First is either antigen is not strong enough, the strong antibodies develop and kills that antigen so strongly. Or another antigen is so strong that it kills the body. Two extreme reactions, two ends of the same. This is what generally you get over there. In Soric, we have learned actions and reactions are equal and opposite. In psychosis, we have learned that it is not a direct reaction. With the helper cells, it reacts. In syphilitic, either the person kills others or either person kills himself. Two different things. And same thing happens at the physical cellular level. So syphilitic, you find these two reactions. And then... The reaction is destruction of the cell or destruction of a stressor. Two opposite things, either to kill himself or to kill others. But kill is very important. There is no adjusting. There is no thinking. This is what one has to understand. There is no thought behind that. They go either this end or that end, but they want to kill, they want to finish. Extreme, abnormal, excessive. These three words define the stability mind. So at the mental level, these three words are possible. They, these four, uh, three words are applicable. At the same time, they are applicable to the physical level also. And that's why you get the abnormal reactions very commonly with this mind and excessive reactions with this mind. So excessive reaction, the cancer leading to the same mind destruction, this is quite common. So this happens with this. Generally, this is too important. One has to understand this very easily. And this, this is what one, one Consider. So you get a cancer like tendencies with this myasm ending with the destruction of that human being. To start cancer is in between myasm psychotic to syphilitic, but it leads towards the syphilis, towards the destruction. Excessive growth, excessive development, 
excessive destruction these three words very important and therefore in syphilitic personality you have excessive desire or abnormal desire at the mental level whether it is related with the physique whether it is related with the food whether it is related with the craving whether it is related with the um, his desires whether it is related with the sexual desires everywhere you will find this excessive abnormal desire and that's why one word which is quite common is the dipsomania excessive craving for the alcoholism if you read the cipilinum remedy what what allen has written allen has written that there is a hereditary tendency towards the alcoholism so it is not it is it is carried from past generation this much excess these persons day and night they require the liquors without that they cannot work that is the syphilitic tendency and this this is excessive when this leads towards such excessive thing it is always always an abnormal ending with the destruction of that human being and that's why it is syphilitic so this is too important to understand and that's why in syphilitic mism you get many varieties of perversion when it leads towards the sexual thing the perversions are quite common if they never get what they desire they leads towards the perversion and that perversion either they want to kill that fellow either they want to kill that individual they, they want to kill that girl they want to throw the acid on them all those perversions which you can find it out with this personality so this is too too common with this mayas there are two reactions extreme good or extreme bad and we have to learn both the things in this mayas we have to understand these two thing so what is good with this that's what we will find it out first we'll think about the good they are ambitious but what type of ambitiousness in sora the ambition is very clear the soric personality they are ambitious what they feel and what they think that they can achieve they can they can they go for it here in psychotic myasms the ambition is rather different for the ambition they they want to do but they don't have a capacity to do that or to achieve that and they puts others down in order to achieve their ambition that is the typical psychotic ambition sipility the task feels very difficult to achieve they puts such types of task in their mind and that task it's too difficult to achieve and for that purpose they runs very very fast very hard very they becomes too industrious to achieve that the big there are very big dreams which are present with the sympathetic personality specifically when you learn about the orum they they keeps very high target in front of their mind their goals are very very high and for that purpose they devote their life and that that is an extreme reaction which you can catch with this myasm that is an extreme reaction that defines that this is a orum ambitious and they decide this yes, this is what they have to achieve they want to go for it and once they decided that they they are they are struggling doing very hard work and that's why industriousness is another mar uh, word which comes or rubric which comes under the or they are very very industrious and they they are not duty bound only they are industrious and they works hard unless and until their task is finished and that's why the task orientedness is very clearly present in orum metal they are task oriented they are workaholic yes again a tendency towards extreme so they works very hard day and night for the for whatever the task they have kept for that purpose they works a lot and that's why this this is the word which is used for them workaholic working 
by hook or crook in order to achieve yes they will go for it and they want to do that thing with very very hard way and that's why working by hook or crook that is the syphilitic tendency no word is missing in their dictionary see this is too important no word is missing in their dictionary you ask them yes you have to do that and they say yes i want i will going to do that and they never says no if you give very big target to them they are ready to go for it and this is what the orang is you will find that these people have made the history in their life you you find it out many people who have typical oram nose oram nose is a, a knobby nose it is a long and knobby nose which is quite common with the oram and you find it out the nose of the different his, peoples in the history who have achieved or who have done big things in their life you just compare their nose how their nose are their nose are always like a oram nose they are oram personality they have done they have struggled a lot they have worked a lot they have done very hard duty for that and they have achieved and they made the history with them so no word is missing in their dictionary so this is what good reactions and they are quite common with the oram personalities only thing is that once one 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 more thing which i have not i forgot to write over there they are very conscientious people conscientious means in marathi we say sat sat vivek buddhi those persons who knows what is wrong and what is right and they go for right things that is conscience that is a god within the human being and these oram personalities are conscientious personality they have better perspective of what is wrong and right and that's why they go go for it and that conscientiousness is of a syphilitic entity that is that is also extreme with the oram and this this is what which we you can find it out with the good reactions of the oram now let us turn towards the opposite side of it what is the bad reactions of syphilitic myasm so once we have understood yes syphilitic myasm is also good myasm to have because they can make a history without that it is not possible syphilitic bad reaction which we can find it out and we find that excessive desire for alcohol excessive desire for tobacco excessive desire for drugs very characteristically present in this man this is a bad reaction opposite reaction they cannot stop they cannot control the thing the control is not there with their mind and as well as in their hand and that's why they goes for it and you want you know that a person who is dipsomaniac ultimately ends with the destruction of his life the liver gets seroes syphilitic myasm the brain gets damaged the atrophy of the brain the kidneys gets damaged the kidneys get become shrunk or destructed it's tending towards the syphilitic myasm syphilitic pathology and that's why excessive desire for alcohol excessive desire for tobacco leading to the cancers of the stomach very commonly excessive desire for smoking leading towards the cancers of the lungs ultimately destruction excessive desire for drugs leading towards the drug dependency ultimately ending with the life of the human being so these are the very typical bad reaction a dipsomania hereditary tendency a characteristic of this myasm syphilitic myasm very typical so we have to understand all those things yes there is there is one end is good but this is another end of the same myasm this is quite common with syphilina mercury they are chain smoker they cannot stop the smoking they go on they la desire that stimulus and that stimulus they what they desire that desire with the very strong craving severe craving excessive sexual desire or opposite of it is total loss of it two extremes of the myasm one is excessive craving excessive desire and leading towards the perversions so they cannot stop once they feel 
they go for it they want to achieve that by any means and if it is not possible they will go, ends with the perversion so many masturbation tendency the homosexuality the animal relations quite common with this mind they cannot control their mind. or opposite of it is that total destruction towards the sexual desire because of their habits alcoholism is one of the important it leading towards the total loss of sexual desire desire is diminished the total loss opposite reaction but both are extreme and that is what is the maya the syphilitic maya so either they have a very sex, high sexual desire or they have total loss of it and you will you will find the remedies over there the platina is the one remedy opposite of it you get the selenium over there total loss of it acid first will be there again the same remedy from the syphilitic mind so two opposite ends and sexual perversions what already we have discussed and this sexual perversions whenever you find in the person you can immediately think of this myism no other myism so why it is important to understand the myism because you once you understand all those things then it is quite easy to reach to the myism and then you have to you can find it out a right remedy from the same myism so understanding the myism gives you a better prescription and gives you exact idea about the remedy so when you choose a remedy you think about the myism first and then compare it whether your remedy is from the same myism then it works then it has the capacity to alter the even pathology which is altered and to bring it again to the state of health and this this is what we have to understand so these are two extreme things which we have learned from the myism the one is good and one is the bad let us learn what is there with the physicals at the syphilitic myism is ulceration when you think of ulcerations ulcerations are they are with the sora they are there with the psychosis they are with there with the syphilitic if you want to learn the ulcers of the syphilitic myism you open your allen key notes just open the mercurius and you read the ulcers defined over there very characteristically mentioned over there it has a lardaceous base where lot of destructive necros tissue which is present over there very offensive discharge lot of pus is collected over there with uh, irregular edges the ulcers are having irregular edges which is very characteristic with the syphilitic ulcers so they don't have a typical definite shape which you can find it out in case of the uh, psoriatic ulcers clean cut ulcers surgical ulcers with are psoriatic in case of psychosis you get the inverted edges growth over there a uh, hypergranulation over there leading towards the keloid in psychotic here the ulcers are absolutely having irregular shape you can find it out with the merc and then you'll get exact what type of ulcerations are there irreversible pathology second important thing the gangrene another simple example of this myth so if the patient of a gangrene is there no no don't think about any acute remedy sorry remedy it is typically syphilitic remedy which you will require in such types of cases so whenever pathologies looks like irreversible think of the myism the syphilitic and find it out a right remedy for the patient congenital disorders all congenital disorders are the result of the syphilitic myism cleft palate definitely syphilitic myism in background so constitution is syphilitic if teeth are present at the time of birth syphilitic entity typical syphilitic if the patient if the infant at the time of birth having a lot of hair growth all over the body specifically over the head a typical of the again the syphilitic myism so you have to find it out palot tetralogy characteristic of the syphilitic myism any congenital disorder with which the patient is born always think about this myism all the destructive pathologies always comes under this myism 
so liver cirrhosis the brain atrophy the kidney atrophy or kidney failure all those things which comes under this maya so total destructive pathology comes fissures fistulas cracks are the characteristic of this syphilitic mind and most important thing which i want to tell you is the bony involvement whenever the bones gets affected or bones gets involved in the case always think about this syphilitic mind osteomyelitis very typically a syphilitic mind very typical so you have to think about the remedy properly or when you think about the osteomyelitis so um, rheumatoid arthritis to start with is always psychotic but rheumatoid arthritis ends with the syphilitic mind it destroys the joint and ultimately ends with this mind so these are the physicals one must understand and think about the myism on the basis of that so syphilitic how is the constitution the constitution is bossing forehead the forehead is coming out that is a bossing forehead specifically in syphilinum you can find it out i will show photograph i think it is there on this um, slide if it is not there will i will share it later on a depressed flappy nose the nose is depressed flappy or another typical africans having a that type of nose very short and or another is either long knobby tip nose that is another syphilis there are gaps in teeth and crown of the teeth is decayed in psychotic we have learned it is the root of the teeth is decayed here the crown it is open destruction which you can find it out with the syphilitic mind then flabby fissured aphthous tongue it is a very big flabby means it is very big thick second important there are many fissures over there specifically longitudinal fissure over there and ab recurrent apathy recurrent ulcerations again shows the syphilitic mind alopecia totalis total loss of hair totalis comes under the syphilitic mind brittle spoon shaped nails paper thin nails patient comes and they says that their nails never remains they, they are so brittle that they immediately vanishes that is typical of this syphilitic mind irregular nails again the indication of the syphilitic mind so these are very important things one must understand yes this is this is the picture i want to show over there is the bossing forehead the depressed nose short nose over there attitude typical of the same myism the syphilitic mind so we have learned regarding the syphilitic myism the common remedy is anti syphilitic remedies which we know are the sipilinum the mercsol the aurum metallicum you can think about the hydrastis very very important syphilitic remedy and when you have to think about the face in syphilitic myism and if you want to match the face then you have to think about the kali vicromicum one more remedy syphilitic remedy where there is a acute face and that's why acute syphilitic rheumatism wandering rheumatism which you can find it out with the kali vicromicum so kali which even though it is syphilitic have a very fast pace and that is that is what we have to understand over there kali iodide is one more remedy but kali iodide is generally psychosyphilitic where syphilitic entity is much more over there with the kali iodide so we have learned all those three myism we have started with sora psychosis and syphilis from kentian aspect and kentian aspects gives you a difficult typical personalities of the mind and once the personality if you understand then it's quite easy to reach towards the mind. there are mixed miasmatic tense the tubercular is there as well as the cancer is there the tubercular is soro syphilitic it is sora plus syphilis and cancer is it is psychotic syphilitic when you have to learn the tubercular these are few points which i will going to share with you they are typically tall they are slender weak emaciated narrow chested having a very long curly eyelashes narrow chest means the thoracic span is very big as compared to the abdominal span and that is what is the typically of a 
narrow chestedness which you can find it out with this tubercular personalities with the phosphorus they are very hyperactive the hectic activity defines the typically a tubercular trait they are very inquisitive they are restless the mischievous the obstinate a better thing it's a better thing that these points will discuss in tomorrow session so <laughs> all points regarding the tubercular as well as cancer myelom i will going to share with in the tomorrow session because time is very less i want to explain all those points which are there in this myelom so that you will understand the tubercular or mixed myelogenetic traits in a better aspect so we have learned three basic myelomes the sora psychosis and syphilis from both aspects from hanemanian point of view as well as from kentian point of view and i'm quite sure with after understanding this then you can differentiate myelom very easily one on the basis of pathology themselves so that's all for today uh, if uh any questions are there you can put it in my inbox or you can ask over here also uh i will stop the share so that uh, tomorrow we can have the same thing is there any question regarding the myelin you can put and you can ask so that it will be quite easy to discuss the things in the similar manner or at the same time so any question second important thing from today onwards again the divine school of homeopathy they are starting their activities right from today at 9 o'clock so you will have again uh, the things which are which used to happen in our um, clinic they will going to share the cases or different aspects over there and you can learn a lot regarding those things in the divine school of homeopathy activity at 9 o'clock and second important announcement which i want to do uh that uh, dr gaurang's pediatric schedule uh, sorry pedi uh, yes, pediatric schedule will be going to start on this fourth from friday onwards so um, for divine school of homeopathy there will be no session at 9 uh, o'clock on friday so, uh, sunday is already holiday in divine school but friday will be one more holiday till the session from gaurang till that period friday session will not be there with the divine school so that's all for today and thank you very much for attending sessions again you tell other all of your friends to attend the session to from tomorrow onwards will be meet tomorrow regularly on zoom so thank you very much thanks ali and everyone who are there okay thank you